Royal Enfield Motorcycle Repairs. If you're looking for help fixing your Royal Enfield Motorcycle, look no further. Our comprehensive Royal Enfield Motorcycle Repair Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your vehicle. Confirm there's gas in the tank. A basic pre-trip check is seeing whether you have gas in the tank. But it's something riders tend to overlook. Especially if your gas gauge reports a full tank. You might not think to check. Keep in mind that gauges can malfunction. So consider jostling your bike and listening for the slosh of gas in the tank before jumping to other potential problems. If you can confirm there's gasoline in your bike. See if the fuel pump is operational if the motorcycle has one. And if there's a carburetor. See if there's gas making its way there. 2. Look for loose wires. Another seeming no-brainer is checking electrical connectors to see that everything is plugged in. Electrical issues often escape riders because they aren't always visible. But manually checking the connectors can help you spot a problem that wouldn't otherwise reveal itself. If you suspect something other than the battery is the culprit. Especially if you've just swapped the battery for a new one. It's also worth looking at your battery connector cables. It's possible your new battery's wiring is incorrect. Making your non-starter quick fix once you tighten the cables to the terminals. Engage the clutch. It's usually a no-brainer for experienced riders. But for newbies, remembering to engage the clutch can mean the difference between a relaxing ride and a frustrating trip to the shop. Many bikes must have the clutch in before they will start, even when you're in neutral. There's also the possibility that your bike's clutch switch has been damaged. And you can try pumping the clutch a few times to see if that helps reset it. You can get around the clutch switch. But long term, you'll need another solution and probably a clutch replacement. Check for blown fuses. Just like a car or truck. Motorcycles have fuses. And they can blow the same as in any other vehicle. Keeping a fuse kit on hand is helpful so you can replace any blown fuses with one that has the same amperage. If fuses continue to blow after you replace them, you likely have a more serious electrical issue somewhere in the bike's wiring. Confirm the kill switch is off. Not every rider uses their kill switch with regularity. But if you have used it recently, it's possible the engine cutoff switch is still activated. Either that or someone else flicked it. Or you did it by accident. Either way, it's worth a quick glimpse. As the switch remaining in the on position will prevent the motorcycle from starting. Ensure the fuel valve is set to on. For motorcycles with fuel valves read non-fuel injected models. Having the setting in the wrong place can keep your bike from starting up. Make sure the fuel valve is turned to the on position and be patient for a few seconds until the carburetor float bowls fill. Source nadaguides.com